2013 to 2015, Chevy Malibu front wheel bearing replacement. Let's start by removing our brake retaining screw. It is a T30. Use a screwdriver like this to jam the water in place so it doesn't move. Use a T30. I'll put the link in the comment section below for the two use for this. Let's remove our brake caliper as an assembly. It is a 21 millimeter and a swivel. Let's take it off, just like that. Don't hang it, just use the bungee cord to hold it in place. Use our water, put it upside down so it doesn't get any scratch. And use some pre fluid to take our axle nut off. And um, the wheel bearing have three bolts holding it in place. We put some WD-40 in it too, so it came out easy. The axle nut is a 32 millimeter. I'll put it in the comment section below as well. There are times those things don't move. If it does it, you're gonna have to use a chisel and a hammer to take it off. Now let's pop our wheel, wheel speed sensor, wiring off the knuckle, and let's remove our lower control arm bolt. It is a 50 millimeter. You use a wrench at the other end to get it off. I'm using my power bar here to get the control arm off the spindle. You see the axle is loose. So I can have access to those three bolts back there, the 18 millimeter. I'm gonna use um, a long 18 to have enough room for it. Same thing on the other side, a long 18 millimeter, a half inch. For the top one, I have to use a swivel, a short swivel. There it is, it's off. So now you're gonna get a hammer to tap the bearing off. It's already coming out. There it is off. There's a new one. I'll put the link in the comment section below too. I clean off the the um the spindle so the new wheel bearing go in pretty pretty flush. Do the best that you can with it. You can take the worst off. You clean it with some brake cleaner. Just like that. Let's put our backing plate on. And our wheel bearing on. Use the 18mm and the swivel. So you can drive the boat in and finish um, talking it down when I'm done. Everything's in place. We are about to put um, our caliper in. We have a control arm in, the control arm bolt. Perfect. Let's put it in place, just like that. We are about um, to run um, the axle nut in and the brake holder within the screw so it doesn't go anywhere. Just like that. Our caliper is in, caliper bracket bolt. And let's run the axle nut in. I'll put the talking sequence right here for you guys. And it's all done. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.